Well, what's up guys, Dante here. Now, I finally got myself an OLED TV. This is the LG C9. I was torn between two of them. It was either this one or the Sony AHG. Now, one of my reasons for going with this one, because the price was cheaper when I actually got this TV. When I got this TV, it was $200 cheaper than the Sony AHG, which they cut the price some a few days ago now. That It's the same price now, so I kind of went with this and whatever. But... A couple of reviews I've seen and videos I watched on both of those TVs was that when it came down to overall performance, depending on what you wanted, it varied. So with the Sony, a lot of reviewers said that the has great picture, great for cinematic stuff, not good for gaming. All right. With the LG, I got the same thing, great cinematics, you know, movie watching, TV watching, but... With this one, there was a little bit of an advantage. It has HDMI 2.1, which allows for variable refresh rate. So when the new PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X come out later on this year, hopefully, we'll still say, have to wait and see, this supports variable refresh rates. And when it comes to variable refresh rates, so you can have a game running at 120 hertz to 90 hertz to 60 hertz, and just all that can kind of still run smooth without having no hiccups and no input lag and none of that. So... That's one of the reasons why I went with this TV. Now, overall, with an OLED so far, yes, it is true that having an OLED has deeper blacks. And, like, when it actually looks black, it doesn't look grainy in some sections and look grayish in some areas. Or another thing I noticed about OLEDs that I kind of liked that I kind of, over the years, I paid attention more to LCDs that I kind of hated after a while. And I noticed is that when it comes to um, LCDs, when you, like, bright objects, like, white letters like these right here you see that halo effect around it and it's like it would be like this and then you see like a white little halo effect around it and it does that with every little thing so like when adobe vision will pop up in the corner right there it will tell you adobe vision is on or whatever and it's like a big blurry whitish area right there same thing with like with OLEDs, you don't have that problem, which is great. So that's one of the things I've known over the years that I paid attention to that I was like, oh, you know, I see what the problem is now. Like, that halo effect starts to get on your nerves after a while. Now, I haven't actually gamed on this yet. I was kind of just, you know, holding off because I want to see with the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, these variable refresh rate games that's supposed to be coming out later on next year or whatever. But I kind of want to see. But I want to hook up the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X all these names, and just see right now, it probably just run at 60 hertz the most. I don't think any games on a PS4 or Xbox One X run at any higher than that, so I don't really take a care. And like a lot of the games I got don't really you can use that. Like I don't really have any first-person shooters that, that can uh, use that or any racing games at that point. So right now I'm just waiting to see what's coming out later this year with those new, new consoles. But when it comes down to OLEDs, I must say, like, this black is just black. Only whiteness you see is that light right there that's right here. And, like, when it's white there, it's just white. It ain't no little blooming effect there. I, I, I'm feeling that. Um, I am a little worried that the burning issue. Now, I don't watch... I watch TV since we're all being quarantined at this time. But I don't watch... Uh, I'm about to, I don't watch quarantine. I'm about to say... I don't watch TV this that much where... I'm going to burn any type of image like that. But it's still worrisome to me because anything can happen. They'll tell you, yeah, if you don't watch it for this long a period of time, you might get one of them TVs, you watch it for 15 minutes, like you know there's an image on it. So I'm still a little worried about that. So over time, I have to wait and see how this actually TV ages and see if there's any issues down the line. But right now, you know, I just got it not too long ago. So it's just a brand new TV, spanking new, just getting hot when it comes to getting the uh, panel hot. That's all, watching TV. But that's pretty much it. It's not a review video. It's pretty much a, I guess, an impressions video, you can call it. Because, like I said, I ain't really dived deep into this shit. I just got it. I just I, Little differences I've seen between LCDs and OLEDs, I've seen right off the jump like that. So, like, for me, got to play with this a little bit more. See any, any little things I have issues with. You know, any problems I come across. Any type of little thing that I've noticed over time, which is going to take me time, so it's just going to have to wait and see right now, but this is it. I'm, I'm actually a part of the OLED family, I guess you would say. I got, finally got one. Let's see how it ages over time and see how these new systems come out. If it plays well on this, definitely going to, you know, 
see how well this plays out. Now, I know some new ones that's launching this year, but for me, the new LC, not LCD, the new LG OLEDs, some of them, some of them don't even come with a stand, which is like crazy because I don't really have room. I can, I can make room to wall mount, but that's a process in its own because you got to run the wire through the wall and make sure you want it to, it's a lot with that. So for me, if it don't come with a stand, I'm pretty much, I don't feel like spending money for a stand that should come with a TV. But now, that's how they come coming now. Some of them don't even come with stands. But for this one is the LG C9. Image is amazing. Let me play with this. Post your comments down below. If anybody who has an OLED TV in the comments, let me know. Like, if you have any issues, anything you come across with this TV in particular, or any type of OLED that you have, let me know. Things I should look out for. Things I should just, you know, pay attention to. Also, hit that like, subscribe button. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.